Hello everyone, Henson here back for your Facebook FanGates tutorials and today I'll be showing you how you would be able to make use of these cool cool templates or Facebook FanGate templates for you to be able to leverage these in order to close more offline clients and as you may know already when you download the Facebook FanGates you'll also be getting a total of nine cool and professional looking fan gates that matches your mobile template so you also have here the coffee computer cupcake and so on you have all the nine templates here that matches each of your nine mobile templates or websites and you'll be getting it as a zip file you just have to unzip it okay and for those of you who doesn't know what a fan gate is, uh, I'm sure most of you does, but uh, just for those people who haven't heard of, uh, of fan gates yet, uh, fan gates are actually those Facebook um, sections wherein uh, you could actually have your clients uh, sort of forced to like your page by means of offering them information or deals, for example. So you could actually have a section there or a tab for you to be able to have your clients click on it. And once they click on it, there's actually a page there that would tell them to like the page or like your Facebook page before they could actually get the discount, the deal, or get the information that they're trying to get from your site. So let's open our Facebook page. So here we currently have taxi for you as our timeline on our demo MTI fan gate okay this is one of the templates that we have you see it as the profile picture and the cover uh, photo as well so let's first begin by changing all these for you to be able to see how this works so let's first change the uh, cover okay so just click uh, just hover on the cover picture and here you would see change cover click that and you could either upload photo or choose from photos if you've already uploaded it on your uh, Facebook page but for now let's upload photos and we're going to get it here from the Facebook fan gates folder that I have okay and let's use coffee okay so this one it says display picture coffee shop okay so this should work as your profile picture so we're looking for the timeline and the timeline image is this one it says timeline image just double click on it and Facebook would update your timeline picture you could drag to re reposition if you need to to make changes but it's actually customized to fit this page already you don't need to make any further changes or no need to re uh, drag it as you can see you cannot drag it anymore because it's already fit on the page or rather the cover photo section so make sure that you click on save changes in order to keep your cover, uh, cover photo on this Facebook fan page so now we have the coffee shop as our timeline so this could be working or you could actually be, use this now for your coffee shop um, website so let's also change our profile picture so hover on the picture you could click on edit profile picture and upload photo so this is the display picture or the profile picture just click on it and as you can see it's also uh, it also fits the profile picture section so it's cool to, s to look at now you have everything matching okay and let's now have the actual fan gate updated okay so how do we do that you could search here static iframe so you could see a couple here just get the second one, the, the app that says um, static iframe tab and says 10 million plus monthly users. So let's get that. Having that many users means this is a very uh, reliable one. Okay, so you're using Facebook as a demo MTI fan gate. 
you need to actually use it as your Facebook user um, or your Facebook profile personal profile not the page and I'm using East Facebook account right now so I'm going to continue as Enrique Becco and there as you can see my profile changed and it's now asking you to add a custom page tab to your Facebook page so install uh, page tab here and it's going to ask you to add page tab okay and here you have a drop down menu for you to be able to uh, choose which fan page you'd like to have this app to be added to okay so let's choose demo MTI fan gate so now you can see it's checked and highlighted let's click on add page tab here so after that it would ask you to authorize a tab application so you need to do that for the tab to, to, to be used on your f uh, page so you have a static iframe tab again asking you to go to it okay just go to app and there it automatically leads you to the application setting okay on the fan page where you had it installed so here as you can see there are a lot of options here you could play around with it in fact and the things that you need to edit for you to be able to have your fan gates working is first the page source here you could have an HTML code it's up to you since we have the fan gates created for us we'll be using the uh, the images for the fan gates you also have the fan gate non fan page source so this one what you're going to add here is the picture for those people who's not yet who haven't liked your uh, Facebook page yet okay so they will be forced to like it and after they liked it then they would see the information here on the page source okay and finally you have here the tab image which you also would like to change and we also have a picture for that okay and you could also change the tab name for example let's say uh, since we have the the coffee shop let's have the the name let's actually name the tab free coffee so we're going to give away free coffee for example let's change the tab image okay so there once once you click it it would give you the option to upload okay so here as you can see the th fourth image that says tab the coffee shop so this is for the tab image just double click on it and as you can see it's it's now added there okay uh, we, we would like to save our settings after we're complete with this so let's m move up again we'd like to add the, the page information so what uh, your clients are going to see once they like your page so we already have an image just click on choose file there and it says here fan page after like and then there's fan page before like okay so we have after like here because this is the page they're going to see after they've they've clicked like on your fan page so let's click that and it's added here now so now let's add the last image so you have fan gate non page uh, non fan page source let's click on image as well okay click on choose file so now we're going to go and add the fan page before like so there we now have before after they like the tab name as well as the image for the tab so let's now click on save changes okay let's just wait for it to load and after you've saved it okay let me go to my own Facebook account okay so I still have the old information here let me go ahead and reload for me to be able to see the changes that I just did so as you can see I now have here the coffee shop timeline image and I also have here the coffee shop profile picture and this is what I created earlier okay so this is the tab that I created so as you can see this is the picture it says here click here for your special offer 
okay so after clicking that as you can see I haven't liked the page yet okay once you click on it it would load the picture before like as you can see here it is click here to like free cup of joe grab your free cup of joe okay to receive your free cup of joe coupon simply click the like button so I, I have nowhere else to go I, I just need to like the page for me to be able to see that coupon so let me click like and as you can see the page refreshed on its own and that's now the the second image that, that I placed okay thanks for liking free cup of joe so you now have I can now have the free cup of coffee for me to be able to enjoy I could just go ahead and print this if this is the coupon and that's it that's how easy it is for you to have your Facebook fan gate um, templates added to your Facebook page and I hope you enjoyed and learned from this tutorial thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining the mobile treasure island 